Let's now talk about a term that must be one of the most widely used terms in 2020, social distancing. It's a public health practice that aims to prevent sick people from coming into close contact with healthy people in order to reduce opportunities for disease transmission. It can include large-scale measures like cancelling group events or closing public spaces, as well as individual decisions such as avoiding crowds and close contact. Well, the Kenyan government has been enforcing this practice as a way of scaling down the spread of the highly contagious coronavirus. But in Garissa and Kisumu towns, there are a few residents who seem to think abiding by these guidelines is at best insignificant. Inoxicolia tells us more. Police fire tear gas at traders who had reconvened at Polyview area in Kisumu City on Tuesday. With confirmed cases of coronavirus on the rise in the country, the county government of Kisumu moved ahead to enforce the directive that seeks to have all open markets shut. Police moved in, smashing anything and everything on their way. Traders refused to budge, resorting to protests. <laughs> With the virus spreading like bushfire across the globe, closure of open markets was made one of Kenya's response strategies. But traders in Kisumu have defied this directive, selling goods in total disregard of the 1.5 meters distance concept. And we need to change our attitude and see how serious this pandemic is. We are appealing also to those in the informal settlements. Tafadhali tukifika jioni, tuende tu nyumbani. Defiance has embroiled Kenya's strategy to combat the fast spreading zoonotic virus. This is Garissa town and the picture is worrying people interacting freely and at close range. From those walking on the streets to those engulfed in chit chats, the distance between people is in total disregard of the guidelines issued by the government. At Garissa Level 5 Hospital, the story is very much the same. Patients at the hospital are captured by our cameras sitting close to each other. Some residents in Garissa seemingly refusing to make fundamental changes to how they live their lives, even as the government warns that COVID-19 and the illness it causes are spreading among communities in Kenya. According to the Center for Disease Control, COVID-19 spreads mainly from person to person and between people who are in close contact with one another. This happens when an infected person coughs or sneezes, releasing respiratory droplets landing on the mouth, nose or eyes of the person nearby. Enoxicolia, Citizen TV.